Mornings on 2, it's 523. They are a crowd favorite at Bay Area parades and events, the Low Riders. They've been a part of San Francisco for decades. As KTVU's Ali Rasmus tells us, there's a social and political history behind those custom cars you see cruising down streets. All my from the Carnival Parade in the Mission to just about every festival in San Francisco, the lowriders know how to put on a show. People just pull out their cameras and start filming us, you know, and so that's the fun of it. The classic cars customized to bump, bounce, and glide down city streets have been featured in film and music through the decades. The thing about low riding, we don't really go anywhere. We just take our time getting there, you know what I'm saying? Going slow. The colorful cars are cultural icons and an expression of Mexican American identity in cities like San Francisco, LA, and the Western US. Low riding is totally a Latino invention. It's part of our culture, it's part of our DNA. I think that, be, yeah, I think when I was born, I was born to be a low rider. Uh, I, I really believe it. They're a part of San Francisco's Mission District, where Roberto Hernandez was born and raised and where he founded the San Francisco Low Rider Council 40 years ago. Low riding is an art form. It takes time, money, and love. If the car was the canvas, 24th and Mission was the gallery. For decades, lowriders cruised those neighborhood streets on weekends. It was a total parade every Friday and Saturday night. But Hernandez says like the community itself, the lowriders faced negative stereotypes and discrimination. In 1958, California law made it illegal to operate a car modified to sit lower than the wheel rims. The lowriders responded by adding hydraulics to lift their custom cars with the flick of a switch. But Hernandez says in the 60s and 70s, San Francisco police would regularly arrest lowriders for cruising in the mission. I got arrested 113 times. By 1980, Hernandez and other car club members formed the San Francisco Lowrider Council. And then when we started protesting, you know, that's when it got worse. And then they brought out the riot squad. And I went and met with uh, Mayor Diane Feinstein at the time. I met with the chief of police. Everybody agreed there was, you know, our civil rights were being violated, but nobody was doing nothing about it. The Lowrider Council filed a civil rights lawsuit against the city and police and won. That was the beginning of the movement of knowing that when we organize, we could create change. Since then, the group's been involved with other social movements, advocating for the Latino community on issues like immigration and police brutality. Anya? During the COVID-19 pandemic, they opened the Mission Food Hub Pantry to help feed hundreds of families and deliver 70,000 pounds of food to farm workers in the Central Valley. This is a community that has made a tremendous Impact. At a community celebration in the mission this month. That's Jerry right there, 40, what's there, 40 some years ago. Look at you, young man. San Francisco Mayor London Breed recognized the group's contributions. Will be known officially as Lowrider Day in the city and county. Oh. Sometimes Hernandez says he can't believe how much has changed for the lowriders in the last 40 years. Before, it was looked at as something, those are bad boys. Nobody wanted, you know, to associate with us. And now it's like, has turned into something so beautiful uh, in, in terms of an art form that is respected and admired around the world. Giving him and other lowriders a sense of pride. And a feeling that after cruising all these years, they've finally arrived. In San Francisco, Ali Rasmus, KTVU, Fox 2 News.